guys, I'm just going to do a, a campus tour for you. Um, I'm going to start here in the piazza and we're going to walk around um, and then probably finish here as well. Makes it easier. Um, so I'm in the piazza area now. It's basically the front of the university. To give you some context, the main reception's over there and security's over there. So if you've got any issues, they're the people to go to. Um, and we all have their number on our student card. So if you've got any issues, you can give them a call. They'll come help you out. Um, but yeah, that's over there. Up there is old house accommodation. Just to point out, old house is single sex and it's separate entrances as well. So behind us is the chapel. St Mary's is a Catholic university, but we welcome all faiths or no faith. Literally everyone's welcome. Um, and yeah, over there is the priest lawn. So we'll head round there now. So also to point out, the library is just over there as well. So that's the library. We've got the main section of the library and we've got a study hub as well. The study hub you can see around here. So the study hub section is open 24 hours, which is really handy. And you can scan in and out with your student card. And that's open 24 hours, as well as some computer areas at the top. So this is the study hub just in there. There's computers, there's some Macs in there. And it's a great area because it's not a silent area. You can do work with friends. And then this is the priest lawn over here. Some lecture halls are over there. And then old house accommodation is the top three floors of that building. So it's really nice that it's such like a green area because even though we're in London, we've got a nice big green space. So it makes it feel like you're not in London basically. But yeah, it's really nice because if you can get some boy food out, have like a little socially distant picnic. But it's really nice in the day if you do just want to come and relax, have some fresh air, have a break in between lectures. So just around here is the running track. And I'll also point out the back of the library. So in the back of the library, there's like group study areas that you can hire out. Um, and there's basically like a whiteboard in there, some chairs, computer. So if you want to have a brainstorm, say you've got like a group presentation, you can book out these areas just in here. And then you can book them and just have like a group study session. And it's really handy. So as you can see, this is the running track, the Sermo Fur running track. St. Mary's are very proud of that. So my friend came to the university himself and just down the back there is more halls of residence so you'll be able to see on my accommodation video I'll chat about them in more detail but just down the back you've got Graham, Wiseman and Doyle and you've got Demerilac halls as well but in my other video I explain them in way more detail so you can have a look at that one but yeah the running track is lovely it's free to use for anyone um, and it's also used for like school sports days as it gets like hired out a lot um, we do have like an athletic society, we have a thing called the EPAC, so the EPAC are high performance runners um, and they sort of train together and work really hard. So just here is the Dolce Vita Cafe. This is our on-campus cafe and it's really lovely if you want to meet a lecturer, have a tutorial in there, you can chat about your work one-to-one. -one. So it's really nice and a less formal place than sort of a meeting room or an office. It's great to meet friends and do work together in there or just sort of sit out the front and enjoy the view. You can watch people run while you don't have to, so it's really lovely. But yeah, it's just nice to sort of chill out and as I said before, the running track's free to use for anyone. So if you just want to go for a little run, you've got the perfect place to do it. Um, so just along here, we're coming up to our student union bar. So the student union bar is in the bottom of this building just here. So the SU bar will have karaoke nights, there's pub quizzes, there's great events going on in there. We have like a puppy room sometimes where loads of puppies just come in there and you can hang out with them, it's brilliant. Um, I've also been to Glow in the Dark Dodgeball, loads of different events that the SU hosts. So just here is another seating area. Um, it's extended seating for like the ref and just areas on campus. So it's extra safe and because it's outside and really breezy, it's really safe to sit. And it's nice that it's a bit undercover as well. If you just want to chill out during the day, get takeaway food, eat it there, you can. And there's some lovely benches there as well. So you can 
have dinner with a view, you know. Um, so just here, this is our main rugby pitch on campus. It's really lovely. Because normally on a Wednesday around 12 o'clock, there's a rugby game here and everyone will come out to watch. So whether you play sport or just want to watch, it's really nice. Some people will get drinks and it's all cordoned off so everyone will come and support. St Mary's is quite a sporty university, but if you play sport, if you don't play sport equally, there's so many different clubs and societies. Um, we have Ultimate Frisbee, Law Society, Business Society, Drama Society, just to name a few. There's men's football, women's, women, men's and women's rugby. So there's so much to do, whether you enjoy sport or if that's not your thing and just prefer watching, you can. We also have a thing called Varsity. Obviously it's depending on coronavirus, but so Varsity is brilliant because whether you play sport or just want to watch, you can buy a t-shirt as your ticket. And then we play against our rival university, Brunel. And it's a great day because both unis are very competitive. Um, so it's all sports teams play against each other. So there's like food stalls, music, and it's a great atmosphere because both unis are very competitive. So it's just a great day. Um, but yeah, so sports, sports and Mary's are just over there. And we'll head over there now. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to sort of comment them below. And I'm happy to answer some. But yeah, as well as clubs and societies, there's so many things to do on campus because it's so green. Basically, if you're living on campus, you're that garden. over this side. The student union gym is in there. We've also got a performance hall in there. And across here are some of our labs. So if you're doing a sports course, you may, may be in here. We've got a biomechanics lab. We've got labs with all pressure, pressure plates. And there's infrared sensors down a running track as well. So it's great if you're in for any sports analysis or anything. We've also got the PEC. So the PEC is a, the Performance Education Centre and that's where you may have your lectures if you're doing a sports course. So then you can do practical and theory and sort of change between the two. So it's like a big um, high performance gym basically so that you've got all the equipment you need in there. Residence called Cashin and Cronin. Cashin and Cronin are ensuite halls. And you've also got Woodgrove Park houses as well. So, Woodgrove Park houses are more traditional house style of accommodation. And they also offer shared rooms, but in more detail in the other video basically. But it's really nice because if you're on campus, this is like a nice little green area again. You can sit out on the grass, chill in between sort of lectures. And it does feel like a sort of like homey little village sort of style area, which is nice. There's also more seating around here and some benches. This is like one of the main sections of accommodation. So we'll just come around here and I'll show you the tennis hall. So the tennis hall is 
one of our largest areas on campus because there's three netball courts in there. So that's the tennis hall just over there. In the tennis hall you might find volleyball, badminton, ultimate frisbee, netball. But yeah, that's a massive hall and that's used during varsity as well. And this area is really nice if you want to get takeaway ref food, have it on a bench. And it's a nice little area to sort of hang out outside if you live in halls. Fridays and I have like a game on a Wednesday so that's where I'll have that just around here with the other side of Sports St Mary's so inside there that's where the gym is and then on our right the peck is just in here so you might not be able to see but I'll point out the door or you might just get a reflection but the PEC is in here, so that's the Performance Education Centre. I'll scan you guys in so you can have a quick look. There we go. The lights aren't on, but as you can see, we've got all the gym equipment you'll need. And if you're doing a sports course, then you might have lectures in here. Not everyone gets access to the PEC, only specific sports courses. Or if you're a high performance athlete or in a sports team, you might get allocated a spot in a spot, a slot in the pet for you to train with your team or for your course. But yeah, as you can see, you've got everything you need in the pet. So we'll head around this way and I'll point out some of the day parking spaces on campus. road and surrounding area um, it does get slightly busy but there's so much parking in the area or on campus you'll find somewhere um, also just to point out strawberry hill station is a 10 15 minute walk down the road and it's super close um, i can't remember if i've already said but it's literally like 25 minutes to waterloo and then once you're in waterloo then you're in central london or you've got teddington that way literally 15 minute walk you've got twickenham that way 15 minute walk or there's a 33 bus that you can get and the bus stop is literally just over there um, and the 33 bus is 24 hours and it takes you all around the area to Teddington, Twickenham and it takes you to Richmond oh that's the bus just on cue perfect um, but yeah the bus takes you all around the area and it's 24 hours and it's £1.50 to scan on so it's super affordable so we're just coming round to the back of the gym now this is the university gym this is the weights area and then we've got another area at the front as well with treadmills and gym equipment like that so you can see into the gym we're just walking around the side of the gym now and there's loads more data parking spaces along here as well this we're just heading back round to K Block. So K Block is that red building over there and K Block is a building especially for primary education. That is the gym. You can see all the equipment and all the prices for the gym are on the website. So if you do want to know updated prices just head over to the website and the gym section and it's
um, with sort of uh, paintings on the walls, that sort of thing, instead of like a full electrical. At the top of the block is a large electrical as well, which can be split into two rooms. So you might even have lectures up there. So we're just heading over past K block to the washer area. So some of you may have seen before, but the washer area is the place where you do your washing if you're on campus. It's really handy. You get a card and you top it up and then the card is how you do your washing. You just scan it on the machine and then there's washes and dryers in there. What I did, I set a timer and then collected my washing when it was done. So this is the washer area. It is this cream building. And if I head around here, I can just show you inside. That is the washeteria. You buy a card, top it up, scan it on the machine, and that's how you do your washing. There's washers and dryers in there. Or if you do want to get like a little error for your room, you can do that, but it's normally quicker just to tumble dry. So we'll head around here around the back of the K block. And we'll head over to the commuter lounge. So the commuter lounge is actually new last year, just gone, well, university year, still this year. It is just over here. So this area is designed for students that don't live on campus. It's an area where you can hang out during the day, store food, because there's a kitchen in there. There's printers in there, lockers, if you want to lock away your bags. It's a really handy area. So the printers are just there and there's a computer. And then there's really comfy sofas in here as well, desks. And there's a kitchen in there as well. There's a kitchen with sink, kettle, microwave, there's hot water in there. You don't get any hobs or anything but it's a great place to store food or just relax during the day. We'll head around this way to the Student Union Square. Just through here. We've had students ask about wellbeing support and where the career centre is. Yeah. So um, Pippi's just taking us there now. Yeah, I'll point that out in a second. So that's just an electrical just there as well. Okay, so this is the SU square. So just like you asked, so over there is the student centre where fees offices, registry service, administration, student services and the bar and lounge. So we're the other side of the SU bar. So basically, if you've got any issues or say your student loan doesn't come in time they're the people you go to we've also got a thing called the hardship fund so if you run out of money you're desperate you're stuck you go to the university say that you're like in need of money and they'll basically give it to you for free you don't need to pay it back so st mary's always supports you if you need help um yeah well-being is also in there so if you have any issues have anxiety, um, or if you have dyslexia, so need any help with learning or anything like that, they're the people to go to. And careers are also over there in that building as well. So I've been to careers a couple of times. I've just booked an appointment, taken my CV to them, just be like, help me. <laughs> and they just give you really great feedback and help you. And they're great as like suggesting websites for jobs, things like that. Um, but yeah, that's the student centre. And over here is the student union. So the student union are in charge of all the events on campus and they're basically our voice as a student. So if we want something to change around the university, they're the people we'd speak to. If you want to create your own club or society, you might speak to the SU as well. The way it works, we've got a student life president, an education president, president and a sport president as well. Um, so they're in charge of all the different areas of the university. They, um, they're in charge of Freshers Week, they do charity So I'll head through this way. There's 
loads of hand sanitising points over campus. So the ref is just in these doors here. So the ref is where you eat if you're living on campus. So when I mentioned the points earlier, you get 10 points a day and you can spend them in the ref. And if you run out, you can use cash or card. But yeah, the ref is really nice if you're living in campus, because what I did when I lived on campus, we had like a little group chat, and we used to say, go for dinner at five, we always used to go in there together, have dinner. So it made it feel really homey, and it made it feel like you're a little family on, in halls, which is really nice. Um, I'll head round and show you some of the outside seating, and we'll head back out into the piazza. There's also plenty of vending machines, um, with loads of different options, healthy stuff, unhealthy stuff. There's a cash machine just there on campus, which is really handy if you need to take cash out for anything. Yeah, the theatre is also just in there for anyone who's interested in acting. So we're back out into the piazza. I'll point out that the theatre is just here. So if you're interested in acting or performance, any of the arts, that's where you might be. And the ref is just over here. So there's loads of outside seating just here. And there's bike areas just here that are undercover. So if you cycle to uni, you can store your bikes. Or if you want to bring a bike to uni, you can. So this is the outside of the ref. As you can see, there's loads of COVID safety regulations at the moment. And loads of one-way systems on campus. But yeah, you can get takeaway fruit from the ref. Or you can sit in, take this off because I'm outside. Um, but yeah, the ref is really nice and it's like a social area on campus. Even if you don't live on campus, you can take your own food in the ref and um, eat it in there. There's microwaves in there to reheat food as well. Um, and yeah, or you can use your points on your card um, if you live on campus. Um, yes, yeah, so we have a question from someone yeah, question. asking, how much does it cost to put money on your card for points for the ref? So maybe just explain the point yeah. system. So the way the points work, if you live on campus, you automatically get points loaded up onto your card and they come with the price of the accommodation. So the way it works, you get 10 points a day during weekdays, then you get slightly more at weekends. Um, and then the points is how you pay for your food. So you use that instead of money, if that makes sense. So for example, two sausages are one point, two bits of bacon, one point. Like a main might be three points, then you can make your meal how you want. There's veg veggie options, vegan, pescatarian, literally everything. And they cater for allergies as well. So there's so many different options. So each night you don't really get bored of the food. Perfect. Another question is, you mentioned the study hub is open for 24 hours. How long is the library open for? So the library opening times vary each day. So some nights it closes at 5, 6 p.m. But it gets announced over the tannoy and you get like a little warning like the library's closing at this time. But then you can move into the study hub section after that. So then you can access that bit 24 hours. Perfect. We don't seem to have any more questions. Okay, that's fine. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Um, if you do have any questions, you can leave them below. But that is the end of the campus tour. Thank you, Vicky.